All right, on this video, we are going to install a scope on a uh, rifle I picked up. Found a uh, Savage Axis on the uh, shelf, reasonable price, so I grabbed it. Um, it is a used rifle, it did not come with a scope on it. So, we're gonna get this mounted up. So, first, simply take my, uh, I got a decent gray uh, scope ring. I'm gonna be trying to make um, crazy long shots with this. So I did, uh, I was a, a bit budget minded as I uh, bought what I needed for this. This is a 308, but it's likely never gonna make more than a, maybe a 300 yard shot. So where I'm gonna hunt with this, uh, very few open uh, open areas, just some pasture land, some old uh, strip mines have been reclaimed. So here we go. First, I'm going to simply mate my rings on. Just mount them on. I'll torque them by hand. Just gently tight right now. I'm not gonna go very tight with it just to uh, make sure I've got everything mounted and lined up properly. Pull the caps off the rings. So I've got those off. We're just gonna test fit the scope. Make sure I've got the rings spaced appropriately and it looks like uh, they're gonna fit there just fine. The question I had for myself was whether I needed to bring that uh, base back to that slot on the rail, but I believe that's going to work just fine. Uh, the next thing I would do would be to align the uh, actual rings, and you can see right there they are a little bit off, so I'm going to see if I can get any adjustment at all out of this likely that I cannot, but I'm going to try. What I'm trying to do here is get these two points to meet up as closely to each other as possible. And um, so I'll clamp these down. so that those are lined up and now I'm going to tighten my bases down. And I pulled it just a little bit so I'm going to try to adjust this side some. Now, so you probably can't see this that well on camera but I'm using my hand to pull this into line so that I'm lining up the uh, scope rings and now I'm gonna tighten it down. It keeps coming back off just a little bit. Um, try to shift this side just a little bit more. I don't think I'm gonna get much out of it just with these uh, Picatinny uh, rails uh, pre-mounted being what they are. Perfection is going to be a little tough to get to, but I can get a little out of it. Pretty close right there. Close, but that's not, uh, not perfect. Try to get a little, little better here. This is a uh, the price point of the rifle and the equipment I'm using are all um, <clears throat> not at such a level where high, high levels of precision are expected, but that's gotten us uh, pretty close. And we'll lap it from here and uh, mount the scope up. I've seen scopes mounted where folks just uh, Took it out of the box, threw it in, and it served them fine for a lifetime. So I'm not, uh, I'm not too stressed about it. Again, this is going to be a relatively short range rifle. Some deer, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a bear this year. I'm gonna try a bear hunt later on. So, um, old uh, 
Eastern Kentucky. We've got some old uh, coal mines that have been reclaimed. Get up on top, you've got some uh, flat open areas, but nothing extreme, nothing crazy. All right, <clears throat> now for the lapping. And this is, um, this is the part that's likely much overkill for what I'm doing here, but this is simply a tool. And I'm gonna drop in, it's got this handle on it. So if you, looking at the inside of the scope rings, you can tell that it is all freshly painted. So as I lap it, it's gonna start removing material small amounts of material using 220 grit lapping compound placed on this you can see where i've lapped other scopes the dirty uh the dirty portions there and it's going to start removing it already started removing a little bit and you're going to see the paint wear off as it aligns those uh, scope rings into uh, near perfect alignment i'm looking for about 70 to 80 percent contact in the metal and it'll make sense as i uh as i go through this just a little bit all right, so I've grabbed another tub of compound that I had open over on the side. Take this and uh, smear some on and we'll start. Now I'm going to tighten this in. Now we've got the lapping tool mounted inside the scope rings with the caps on and we have lapping compound uh, on it. So now I'm just gonna start rotating back and forth. Just working it around, working that lapping compound around, letting the tool do its work. probably isn't picked up well on the camera, but that's actually getting easier to work as I go, which tells me some of the materials being moved. So one thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be very careful to make sure that the scope rings not only go back on the uh, same side, but also my left and right is aligned. So I'm gonna mark the left side, rear cap, left side, front cap. Now I'll take these off and place them on the table in a manner to keep them straight. However, uh, from this point forward, I want to make sure that I'm keeping the uh, proper cap in the proper place. Remove this and see what we have. I'm going to... Uh... Clean off my compound. All right, so first iteration. Here's the uh, top scope ring. You can see where it's barely starting to remove some material inside. On the rear ring, the cap, not removing much, but you can see where some of it's coming out. And then you can see the wear points. I'm gonna take the camera in a little bit closer here so you can see. Barely, barely see the wear points in there. Same with the front, uh, but I didn't take much material there at all. So kind of a uh, very light run, if you will. So on this one, we'll take a little more material, work a little longer, um, a little compound in there, work it around, got some compound on top of that there. All right. 
Caps back on. Okay, now still plenty of compound on it. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. A quarter turn on every screw. All right, see what that looks like. That's uh, really what I'm looking for right there is the uh, where. So we're looking to see 70 to 80% clean metal for better contact. So, barely starting to wear, not even gonna, not even gonna waste my time cleaning the caps off. Um, now we can see what we're working with. We're going to uh, set it up again and get uh, really aggressive. I made several passes. I'm tightening it a little bit. Still plenty of compound on the rings.
So I'm probably gonna cut a lot of this out of the video just for uh, your sake so you're not watching a lot. However, something I'm doing from time to time is I'm when I first reinstall the caps in the tool, the lapping tool, what I'm doing is I'm taking it pretty tight so I can barely move it. And I'm having to back it off. As I'll take it so tight that I can't move it at all, then I'll back it off to where I can move it. And then as the lapping compound starts doing its job and removing a little more material, it gets easier to move in there. So then I'm tightening it slowly, and that's what's helping me put more pressure and will help me remove more material. This is a little tough. If you can see the struggle I'm having on camera. I'm trying to work in a cross hatch pattern, front to back, side to side. That keeps fresh compound, lapping compound, coming in on the tool. As soon as this frees up a little bit, we're gonna test it again, and I should have. I think we should be there. Run a little low on lapping compound there if you can't see. All right. Let's take it apart and see where we're at. I'm guessing that we're close. If, uh, if we're not done, we're close, really close. Uh, again, a gunsmith I respect greatly said 70 to 80% contacts, all you really need. 100% uh, is uh, unnecessary. All right, so let's look at the top caps first. So we're getting there. We're not there yet, though. Uh, we're not at that 70 to 80% contact there. Let's look at the front cap. We're getting there, starting to wear down. Where we are starting to see quite a bit of wear, though, is going to be really on the rear cap. It seems to be where, or the rear ring, rather. It seems to be uh, wearing quite a bit right there. A little bit on the front, but you can start to see with those wear points how the lapping tool brings a, a level of precision that um, just doesn't exist in those factory rings. And, and Lupo makes a great product. Uh, however, this is just that extra level of precision. Um, again, maybe it's a little uh, unnecessary on this rifle, but um, just based on my intended use for it. However, it's an easy little step. This is a tool I owned anyway, so. All right, again, this is why you mark the caps. One more lap and compound. On that last one, I uh, wanted to go a few more uh, iterations there, but I uh, noticed that the cap was uh, running a little bit uh, out of the lapping compound, so left, left, all right. One more 
time, see what happens. All right, here we go with one more, uh, one more take at it here. All right, let's take it apart one more time and see where we're at.
All right, so I'm gonna show you what we got here so far. So the uh, rear base you can see is almost 100% clean. The, the top, not so much. A little hard to see on camera. There has been some material removed, but not a ton. Uh, but I'm satisfied with the contact we're making there. Uh, side note, I had to remark my rings left rear, left front. A second ago as I was wiping it down. Let's look at the front ring again. Um, pretty good amounts of contact there. Top, again, not as much removed there. Really hard to show on camera, but there has been some material removed. So um, I think that, uh, especially with the amount of contact that's been improved on the rear ring, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and say we're good for our 70 to 80% contact. I'm confident that uh, that will get us to where we need to be. Now I'm going to uh, take some solvent and wipe my uh, base and rings down, make sure I've got all that grit out of there before I uh, mount my scope into it. A little bit of solvent, we'll wipe that down, make sure there's no residue left on there at all. Uh, nothing to scratch my new scope. Same on the front ring. I'm really liking the amount of metal removed on the bottom uh, to improve the contact. So, yeah, once I got this cleaned up, you can see a little bit better. The uh, There's starting to be a little bit uh, material removed, although not a ton. So, it's going to align it pretty well for our purposes today. Look close up at the tool cleaned up. You can see how it's uh, been used a few times. All right, so now we've got the uh, scope rings mounted and we have the uh, rings lapped. So we've got good metal uh, to metal contact inside the ring itself. Now let's level the rifle inside the vise. The rifle is level. Let's mount the actual scope itself. All right, so I have verified that the rifle is level. We will level the scope. All right. Rifle's level, scope's level. We'll tighten it down. I'm going to use a star pattern to tighten it. It's like you would the uh, lug nuts on a car. Back through one more time and snug them again using that crisscross or star pattern. All right, there we have it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this uh, video helps someone. Please uh, like this video. It really helps uh, YouTube uh, uh, show my videos to other folks as well as subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.